Hi, welcome to Remote Desktop Manager Getting Started for Team Step 8 Create Your Entries. So you're now ready to start creating your entries and session. Click on Edit and then on New Entries. Entry comes in various types. You have session, information, contact, credential entry, document, folders, synchronizers, VPN, and macros. I'll start by creating an entry for shared credentials. Um, so we'll pretend that Downhill Pro allows you to use a single credential across your whole domain. So basically your user will have access to that credential, like all your users. Double click on credentials and click on username password. Enter a name for your entry, a username, domain if required, and enter the password. There you go, our first entry is now created under the folder I've created earlier. Now let's create an RDP session for the domain controller. I'll name it DC, the name will automatically be copied in the computer field. I'll change it and enter my remote computer name. I could define my RDP session credentials here, or I could create a link to the credential entry I've just created. But if you remember, I said in the beginning that Downhill Pro allows me to use the same set of credentials across its whole domain. So in that case, I'll just set the credentials to inherited. You see, when you set sessions under a folder to use inherited credentials, it will go up the ladder to the parent folder and will acquire the credentials from there. That is why on the folder you can assign a credential entry. Just select your folder, click on Folder Properties to edit your folder's properties. In Credential, select Credential Repository and then select the credential entry you've created. Now you can create it as many entries as require under the Downhill folder and set them all to inherited. Then all entries found under the Downhill will use the credential that is tied to the parent folder. Okay, so now I'll look at Telemark. This customer does not allow for the use of a single credential across its whole domain. Therefore, we do not have a credential entry to share, so we will have to work around that. The mechanism is in fact related to the private vault. The private vault, which you'll find right here, will allow you to create any type of entry, but is related to your user account only. It's private to you and only to you. No one else can have access to it. So I'll create a new credential entry for David, the admin. I'll enter the name, username, domain if necessary, and the password. We can see right here that the credential is private to David since we've created in his own private vault. I'll now go and create an RDP session under Telemark. Fill in all the required field but you see, I can't use my private vault here for the credential since the session will be shared with my whole team. So I'll just leave the credential to default for the moment, meaning that there is no credential link to my session right now. The trick is to use the edit entry user specific settings to override the credential that is stored in that session. Remember that there's currently no credential set. Now, if you see that the menu is grayed out, verify if the allow user specific setting rights is enabled. So to set the credentials on my session, enable the override credentials and select the private vault credential entry. It will grant me access to my private vault and as you can see, I now have access to my credential. Again, this is only for the current login account. It's not shared at all. No one else in the system can double click on that session and have access to the credential that was just linked to the session. Every user of the system must do the same step. They all need to go in the private vault, create their credential entry and use their user specific settings overwrite at the session level. Okay, so I'll create an SSH entry under Windjammer this time. With Windjammer, it will be a little bit different again with the credentials. You see, Windjammer is actually using Dashlane to store all of its credentials. So we will use Dynamic Credential. You see, Dynamic Credential is used when creating a single credential entry for a supported credential manager and use this credential with any entry type that supports a credential repository. So I'll create a new entry, credential entry, dash lane, enter a name for your entry. I'll just call mine dash lane, enter the dash lane's account email and password. And I'll also enable the option always prompt with list, 
which will always prompt me with my dashing list. If I go back in my SSH entry and in credential, I'll select credential repository. And from the credentials dropdown list, select the dashing credential entry. You see that the new action button just appears below the credential selection dropdown list. Click on it to be prompted with all the password from your Dashlane account. Select the credential from the list and you'll see that the link changes to the name of the credential. So I now have sessions for my three customers and I have three different methods of using credentials. So we're now ready to set up all our permissions in step nine, grant permissions. Don't give up now, we're almost done setting you up with Remote Desktop Manager.